Tracking the tucker, crisscross applesauce, hands in our lap, voices off. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in elementary academy music today. Scholars will be able to warm up our bodies, ears, and voices, and sing and move to a bicycle built for two. That's our plan for the day. Okay, um, so I want everybody to stand up. Make sure you're in a space where you can do Down Down Baby. We learned this in our video last week. If you haven't yet watched last week's video, a really good idea would be to go back and uh, watch those two so that you know what we're doing. We're gonna review <coughs> things from that video really quickly. Excuse me one second. <coughs> there we go. All right, I'm kicking my shoes off because I remember at the end of the video I have to do that thing where I jump and cross my legs. So I got lots of space, I got comfy shoes on, I know I'm safe and I'm not gonna hurt myself. So I start by tapping. We're gonna very, very quickly review what we learned last week. So we tap, 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 that's my steady beat. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. When I say roller coaster, my hands, hands go up and then down. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't wanna let you go. When I sing baby, pretend like I got a baby in my arms and I'm rocking it. When I say I don't wanna let you go, I shake my head no. Okay, let I go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy round. When I say cocoa pop, I got fireworks hands above my head. When I say round, I swirl my fists around each other and dip my knees. Now I go shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. So I tap, tap, cocoa pop, tap, tap, break down. And I have nice straight arms when I'm doing break down. Okay? Then at the end, two big kids. Sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. That whole time, I just tap the steady beat because I really need to feel it really well in my whole body before I get it in my feet, okay? Uh, then we get to the end and we go, she missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. And if you do it right, you should end up with your feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, so now we're gonna start at the beginning. We're gonna go through the whole thing, start to finish. This is just to refresh our memories, remember how it goes. Uh, in our day two video later this week, we're gonna do Down Down Baby at four different tempos. So be ready for that. All right, right now we're just doing it like Andante, like a walking speed. All right, get your tapping hand ready. Tap, 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 tap. Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed. She missed, she missed like this. Okay, you can have a seat or just stand nice and tall. Uh, we're gonna do one more quick thing to warm up our voices. And that is a vocal warm up. It's called lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. I don't know if I taught this to elementary academy yet. I'm sure I did to middle academy. I'll let you read this for a second. It's pretty simple. The words are lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. And when we sing it, every time we sing it, we either get a little higher or a little lower. But every time we sing it, we also get faster. So by the end, it really does become like kind of a tongue twister. In this vocal warm up, it's really important that we enunciate all our consonants, which means make them as crisp and clear as you can. So when we say tip of the tongue, Really make sure that t -t -t comes out in the tip, the P sound of the tongue, the G sound. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. It'll make it go a lot easier if you really enunciate your, your consonants. So I'm gonna head over to my piano. I'm gonna show you how it goes and then we're gonna do it. Here we go. <clears throat> so if we start here, I would start by saying, Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. 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 Lips, teeth, tip of the 
tongue, lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. Okay, we're gonna pause there. So we just repeat lips, teeth, tip of the tongue over and over again. And you can just start to hear it was starting to speed up a little bit more, so I started to notice. So let's start there, sing it together. Let's do it. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. 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 We'll stop there. We like a hide squeaky. It didn't go super fast because it's only the first time we've ever done this. Um, but it does go as a beep, super fast, like crazy fast. Okay, cool. I'm going to get Mr. Whiteboard out with Freddie up on top, hanging out with me. Hey, Freddie. Uh, today we're going to talk about our secret word of the day. We're going to see if we can figure it out together. But just as a quick review, because it's been a while, I'm going to have my staff that has five lines and four spaces. At the beginning, I'm going to draw that good old treble clef. Okay. Now, for my secret word of the day, we have to figure out four letters using what we know about those lines and spaces. Okay, so our first note is right here. You could start thinking is it on a line or in a space? How do we figure out what that's called? Here's my second note. Here's my third note. And there's my last note. All right, so if I look at that first one, you can think, is it on a line or in a space? It's in a space, and I know that because it's smushed between two of the lines. So if it's in a space, you use your face. So I'm just gonna help myself out by writing the word face going up my staff, up the lines and spaces. All right, so I start at the bottom, F, A, C, E, which letter lines up with that first note? Oh yeah, this one right here. So we call that C, all right, here's our second note. Is it on a line or in a space? That one's in a space too, so I can use my F-A-C-E that I already wrote. So you can just think what letter lines up with it. F-A-C-E, oh yep, it's at the same spot as that A. So I'm gonna put an A here. C-A-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-
Uh, another way I like to think about this, especially after I figure out my secret word of the day, is now that I know what those notes are, I can play them on an instrument. So if I were to play these four notes on my guitar, it would sound like this. So that's one of the first things that we need to do to be able to read music, and once we do, we can make some pretty cool sounds, I think. All right, I'm gonna flip my whiteboard around. And here's our song for the day. I don't know, markers just rolled across the floor. That's okay. Uh, the song that we're gonna work with today is called A Bicycle Built for Two. So let's just read through the words. I wrote this kind of fast, so my handwriting isn't super neat, but I think it'll work for today. All right, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Maybe some of you have seen, I'm not sure I've ever seen one really in real life, but on TV and stuff I've seen them. Um, the bikes where more than one person can sit on, they're called tandem bikes. So that's what we're talking about here. I'm gonna just see if I have my sheet music ID. Okay, so when Mrs. Isles is gonna go play this on the piano, this is what she's looking at. And this tells Mrs. Isles what she's gonna play. And because of that secret word of the day stuff we just looked at, she knows how to read this stuff, which is pretty cool. And hopefully, um, as we learn this stuff and get a little bit better and a little bit faster at it, you'll be able to read stuff like this one day too, which is pretty cool. Okay, so Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer due. So we're talking to a person named Daisy, probably a lady named Daisy. Give me your answer due. So please give me an answer. Daisy was asked a very big question. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. This is a love song. I'm half crazy, that means I feel like I'm kind of going out of my mind, but maybe in a, in a good way. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. I wonder what that question was that this person asked at the beginning. Give me your answer due. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. He's probably asking her to marry him. Um, so the person who's asking Daisy to marry him uh, is saying, it's not gonna be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, so I'm not a, I'm not a very rich person. I can't afford a carriage. Back when this song was written, they didn't have cars like we do today. This is an old, old song. So they used to ride around with like a horse and a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat. You look very nice on the seat of a bicycle built for two on one of those tandem bikes. So I can't afford a nice horse and carriage, but hey, we have a nice bike that we can ride together. So that's kind of what this song's about. About, hey, Daisy, I love you. I hope you'll, you'll marry me. I don't have a lot of money. I can't give you everything in the world that you want, but hey, we have a nice bike and we can drive around the world on our bike and just be happy doing that. So that's what the song's about. I'm gonna slide this off to the side a little bit and I'm gonna sing through this with you, um, for you, and then we'll sing it together, okay? It's kind of a fun little ditty. It sounds like this. Put your eyes there or you can just listen to my voice. I think Turn my body down. D, 
that deserves on our staff. Um, so I'm going to sing You Copy Me. My turn. Daisy, Daisy. Your turn. talked when we did lips, teeth, tip of the tongue about how enunciation is very important. Um, whenever you have a T sound in this song, I want you to enunciate it very clearly. So I'm saying it won't be, it won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Every time you have that T sound, I want you to hit it really, really crisp and clear. Um, that's called enunciation. That just makes all of our singing sound a little bit better. And hopefully one day, if we ever were to have a concert, if you enunciate your sound, your audience that might be way in the back of the gym or way in the back of the auditorium can hear you a little bit better. Okay? So let's sing it through one more time. Enunciate. Get into singing position a little bit, so sit up nice and tall. So 
Let's see how it goes. Enunciate, sing with strength. Watch my breath, no one to start. train exit just like we do every day so breathe with me elementary academy here we go thanks for making music with me i'll see you next time have a magical musical day <laughs>